this. There was one, um, well, like, because my class, too, we talked about um, this thing. Uh, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's, like, an art movement where you literally just take something that's, like, already found, found art. Is that what it is? Where you take something and then, ready like, made. Ready made. Thank you. Ready made art. Like, oh, ready made meals. Was, maybe that was Mondrian. 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 Dang it. I don't know. I, I, oh. hate, I hate the guys. I don't care. Yeah, go on. I'll have to Google it. But basically, we talked for a little bit in one of my classes about this thing called found, found art, ready-made art. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's art that's ready-made. So the big thing that I saw from this one is like, she like, whoever the artist was, they took a urinal, right? And they just picked, picked, and they walked it over to like a little white circle, like stand thing and went, <clears throat> art. And it's worth like millions of dollars. It's a urinal. Yep. That is. I don't understand. I don't remember the artist offhand. I want to say it started with a G. Or maybe it was Montreal. God? If it was God, I could understand. <laughs> if God was like, urinal, and he just appeared this urinal in this museum, I'd be like, yo, cool, fine. Totally got you, big man. But like, other that than is that, that, that what it is. other than that, that is I. a holy relic. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I just can't. And there were others like this. Yeah. It was like that, that was the art piece that made that art movement. Really? Yeah, that was the one that defined it. It's, oh my! That goodness. was the first one. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. I've literally there's other one that's like this is bicycle, and it's like a same thing, just name, just a bicycle. And I'm like, dude, you just you can. It's worth more to you as a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you can do more things with it as a bike than you can with it as art. You can get to work. Yeah. Bike. I don't understand it. You, you understand the person who had who made it the bicycle or made the bicycle. Yeah. They don't have a work. I know. Because they're, they're doing that. And they're filthy rich off it. Yeah. This is like, I would, okay, if like maybe 50 years from now. Like, when art has taken a weird turn to something else or whatever it is, I don't know what it'll be, but when you look, and like all the artists that are like super old and crusty now, like they're like giving testimonials and interviews where it's like, oh yeah, I just wanted a quick way to make money, so I exploded all of the, the big wigs that like this sort of shit. All right, goodbye, let me die now. And then he <laughs> dies a millionaire, and his children are now millionaires. And it's insane to me yeah. off a urinal. Yeah. I can't fathom how that works. Would you like to know the reasoning behind it? I would love to. It doesn't mean you'll understand it, but you'll know the reasoning behind I, it. Enlighten me. All right. So what the whole, the idea behind it was, you take some, a urinal and the artist- And you don't like, pee in it, which is its function. <laughs> you do something else with it, which it wasn't designed for because it has one function. And then, I'm sorry. That's, I and that's the reason. What? You take a urinal, period. You take not no not just a urinal, but you take this object it, and its function is something that you go pee in. Yeah, take it take it off a wall, lay it down, and turn it around so it's like upside down, kinda. And you take away its function, and now you're just supposed to you're supposed to get it as a piece, just in and of itself. Just look at it. Uh, that, you, uh, you can't thus making it the and okay. And actually, the thing is, with that piece also, that's there's always a discussion about what is art. That's and, true. And then they always have like, oh, art is like a painting or a great sculpture, all this kind of stuff. The moment that guy took that urinal, turned it, and was like, this is called the fountain. This is my piece. The moment he did that, the question of what is art exploded. Nobody like knew at that point. The artist said, this is art. And then it became art. Yeah. I have actually had, I've had conversations like that as well. Like in some of my like theory classes, they've been like, what is, like, how do you define like, okay, so I. I took a lot of dance classes and a lot of like dance things in my major because you start off as a dance major basically. And one of the things was like we were talking about what is, you know, what constitutes a dance, like what makes it dance, right? And, you know, obviously like all the quote unquote mainstream people were like, oh, it's, if you ask anybody, like, oh, like the stuff on So You Think You Can Dance, <laughs> like that's the, that's probably the number one thing you'll hear from people that, either just don't like don't mm -hmm. dance or like that are super mainstream or things like that. But like <sighs> there, like there's this one piece that I, uh, I'm don't remember who quote unquote choreographed this, but basically all it is, is it's this person and they're walking. 
they're suspended on the side on the side of a building and they're walking down the building, right? And oh, Chris Angel. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Pretty sure Chris Angel did. No, that. that's that's magic. <laughs> As dance and magic. But no, it's like a legitimate piece that they like do all over the world, I'm assuming. And like they showed us clips of it and like videos of it. And it's literally just like a person just walking down a building. And they're like, like, we had to talk about like what makes that a dance? Like what makes that choreography? And like the conclusion that I kind of came up with, and I don't know if this is a cop out, but this is, I guess, just kind of what it even, I think this also applies to the art thing of what is art. It kind of just went like, it became like whatever, once whoever, whoever is creating, you know, that piece or mm-hmm. whatever it is, once they decide like that this is what they're going to create, then I guess it, it becomes that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it, I know that's like the worst way to explain it ever. It's possible that is the, that is... The reason. Yeah. I and that, yeah, it's, it totally is true, valid. but like, I just still am like, I, there's just such, there's just this, there's that like f- super like defined line that I've been so like classically conditioned to walk where it's like these, these things are these reasons because that's how they've always been. You know what I mean? Like if you may, if you sculpt a man from marble, that's art. You know what I mean? If you paint a bowl of fruit that's art if you uh you know if you like write a, a beautiful melody that's art if you you know move your body in weird ways to that music that is also art and now in this day and age i art is it's a take on american pollution because now it's on the ground I was for those of you not watching this show i picked up a water bottle and i threw it on the floor <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, and it's art now yeah we forget it sounds bad, but sometimes I kind of forget about the people just listening. Sorry, people. Yeah, sorry but about that. We see a camera right in front of us, so like, that's, yeah, we we got, we got we got to play to it. We got to do some wild and crazy things sometimes. But yeah, yeah, it's it's still it still eludes me. That's the modern thinking. Of yeah, pretty. It's like everybody can be an artist now, and that's what I I kind of hate because it's like me myself. I don't consider myself an artist. Because I don't think I have I've developed the skills and all that kind of stuff to call myself an artist. Yeah, I'll say I'm an art major. I'm trying to do stuff, but I'm. But if someone's like, "Are you an artist?" I'm like, yeah, not, not yet. And see, so that's like both the. It's kind of like how iPhones have you know like crazy good cameras on them now, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody. It's like I'm impressed by phone cameras. Yeah, exactly. And see, that's the thing now. Like now, everybody, literally everybody, has yeah. like this ability to take pictures, and so now suddenly. Everybody's a photographer. Yeah, it's like no, you're not. And so that's like bo- it's both, it's like both a beautiful thing and kind of a scary thing at the same time. You know what I mean? Because that's like because the majority of them aren't. I mean, yeah. I mean, by my definition, exactly. Like, that's that's the thing. Like, it's such it's this weird like, and now there's this whole like movement of like everybody is their own thing and like you can't people don't want to be confined to these things, but at the same time they want the same recognition as other people that do those things with skill. I guess if that's even fair to say anymore, see, like, yeah. so it's, it's like a both, a, it's an amazing thing and also a really super scary thing. Cause like, <sighs> okay, now I want to ask you this since okay. you just had this. So what, what would it, what would it take for you to then call yourself an artist? Like when would be a point where you can, you could be like, now I am an artist. I think, it, I think the point when I get like enough, like technique and skill to w- whatever it is I'm seeing in my head, I can create using whatever medium it was I was going for. Okay. If I can do that, then I will consider myself an artist. Okay, I see. Which I still have images in my head that I don't know how to get out because <laughs> I don't have the skill to do it. Yeah. So until I'm able to do that. Okay, I see where you're coming from. So now I'm gonna take that question and I'm kind of kind of extrapolate it a little bit. Okay. Because you play guitar, do you yeah. consider yourself a musician? Yes. So what's the difference there? I think the difference is I. The difference, because like with usually when I think of like art and. Like, like graphic design and that kind of stuff it's visual and then with music it's like audio and stuff so with i would consider myself a musician because like i play guitar and piano mm-hmm. i can play along with songs i can i've created my own songs I've they're written, very good but i've the written way. my own things um and something that i 
my parents keep saying like that's really cool that you can do that which mm. i still don't know if it's really all that special but like hey, lis- listening to music a song, is great listening to a song and like i mean i have to listen to it over and over and like have a guitar there or piano or whatever it is yeah. and being able to kind of like figure out the notes and how to play it mm. you know just play it by ear yeah so in that sense i would consider myself a musician okay so does it kind of adhere to the same rules where it's like you can like think of something in your head and then put it out there or like you can yeah and then it's like well and then it comes to like do i have the skill depending on how difficult it is do i have the skill to actually do it i see okay yeah because yeah. i was gonna say like there are plenty of people out there that are amazing musicians that are self-taught like there was this one guy who i remember he was this, this sweet man i wish i could remember his name <laughs> but like i have like an old like piano at my house that's been there forever and my mom wanted to get it tuned and so she like you know, called up the piano store. I was like, Hey, can you have someone come tune my piano? And they were like, yes, please. We have work. <laughs> Cause I don't know how often a piano store sells a piano. They don't sell like one a day, but yeah, I don't know. They probably sell like two a year. But <laughs> so the guy comes over, right. And he's like, this is a nice guy, like short gentleman, like white hair glasses. He, lo- he looks like a dude that would tune pianos. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I go upstairs in my room or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know, probably playing video games or something like that. And I hear, like, the most beautiful piano I've ever heard in my life. And I'm like, oh, my God. And so I kind of, like, peeked my head out of my window and, like, walked down my stairs. And he and my mom are now best friends, which is weird. <laughs> like, she's been speaking with him for, like, 10 minutes. And she's, like, asking him, like, do you know how to play this song? And we, like, he just crack his knuckles and he just go at it, right? Nice. And it was gorgeous. Like, it was so pretty. He probably played for us for, like, a good 30 minutes. Nice. He was a sweet man. And... Like, my mom was talking to him more because my mom loves to talk to people. And he was entirely self-taught. Like, he learns by, learned and learns mm-hmm. by ear. And, like, I guess he was saying he doesn't necessarily have the most traditional of, like, finger work when it comes to piano. Like, he, okay. doesn't, he, he never, like, really learned the proper way to do things. He just found a way that worked for him. And yeah. he's been doing that for, like, 35 years. Nice. So, like, and, he just, and it works. And it works for him. And I'm like, hey, good on you, man. <laughs> right good on. for you.